Patches disease of the breast or nipple is a rare type of breast cancer that affects the nipple and is spread to the dark circle around the nipple or areola. Cancerous cells called Paget cells are found in a surface layer of the skin of the nipple. Most of people who have Paget disease of the breast have cancer in the affected breast. These tumors are either invasive breast cancer or ductal carcinoma in situ. The exact etiology of this disease is not completely known yet. But many doctors believe that cancer cells in an existing tumor in the breast travel to the nipple through the milk ducts. The symptoms of Paget's disease of the breast sometimes can be mistaken for some skin conditions like eczema and dermatitis. Because of this, most of these patients are misdiagnosed for several months before they are correctly diagnosed. The hallmark of Paget's disease of the breast is a scaly, vesicular or ulcerated lesion on the nipple that may extend to the areola. Sometimes bloody discharge may be seen. Pain, burning sensation and itching are common and may happen before any apparent change in the breast. Therefore, any patient with this persistent feeling without any obvious change in the breast should be closely monitored. Diagnosis of Paget disease of the breast includes the following workups. The first one is detailed history and physical examination about the length of time the lesion has been present and any symptoms including pain, scaly skin, nipple discharge, burning sensation and bleeding. Bilateral breast examination should be performed because breast malignancy is present in about 85% of patients and a palpable mass is present in approximately half of them. Biopsy needs to be performed when there is nipple discharge. Full thickness punch biopsy is widely used. Bilateral mammography is mandatory to identify any existing mass and also synchronous cancer or calcifications. This photo shows retroareolar microcalcification along with nipple retraction, both of which are associated with Paget's disease of the breast. Breast ultrasound and magnetic resonance imaging are used to produce images of deep tissue of breast and help us to estimate size of the masses. The most important aspect of the disease that determines the therapeutic plan is the presence or absence of a palpable breast mass or mammography change. If there is any sign of mass, simple mastectomy is the standard treatment. Radiation therapy can be done depending on the type of surgery. Adjuvant therapies including hormonal therapy or chemotherapy may also be recommended.